we have in today a PC Engine Duo R. This is a cost reduced version of the PC Engine Duo that came out in Japan. We didn't get them in the UK, but they were imported so some people used to play them and they're a lot more popular now in the UK than they were when they come out. The customers attempted to replace the DC jack on this and it no longer powers on. So let's just take a look. There's many versions of the PC Engine. This was the original. You have the white and the black. You can see some are labeled Core Graphics, some are labeled PC Engine, the different revisions with different outputs. The Duo R combined the CD, which you could also get separately to connect to the original ones. So this is kind of a later revision after the PC Engine and the CD add-on. The originals played Hue cards and they basically went in here and connected. And when the CD-ROMs came out, you obviously loaded them off actual CD-ROMs. And then on this duo, you could insert the Hue cards here and the CD-ROMs here. So let's just try and power this up firstly with a Hue card. And you can see the power's no problem. So we've done the power connector swap right, but we've got some VRAM issues. Let's just confirm with the CD if we get the same issues. And we do. And taking a look inside, we can see the customer's kind of put stickers on where he's been, which is handy. So the port's fine, we don't need to look at that. And there's also some sticker on here, which looks like there was a wire going somewhere. And this is just, I think, just taped down. So we just know there's been a repair here. And it makes sense as well, because this is RAM, so it's very likely the video RAM. So I'd say it should be a fairly simple repair to just simply look at the traces in this area. It's very likely just a damaged trace between these two that was repaired originally with this trace. So let's just inspect. I'll just remove this RAM chip. It's really easy to just lift off and put back down. And it might expose a broken trace underneath. If somebody already replaced this RAM, they might have ripped a trace under here. It's going to be really obvious to see by just lifting this off. And we can see, I don't know what you can see on camera here, this trace here has got a damaged bit here, this trace here has got damage here, and this is damaged to here. So basically these two are the important ones. Let's test continuity. Let's try this one first. That one's fine, even though it looks bad. The one next to it, however, has no connection there. And it does there, so it must be third pin in to where this trace goes. So this pin here. So that will be where the Y went. Let's recover that trace and see if that's all it was. And just for good measure, I've also repaired the other trace I didn't like the look of, just going to the other pin, even though it bailed out continuity, it didn't look healthy. Let's give this a go. And there we go. So that's the Hue card working. Let's double check if this CD also works. And it does. Let's just make sure it actually does load. And it just says, please close lid cover. The sensor looks fine, and you can see it actually does make contact when closed. And I can actually see the problem. This must have come out at some point, and they've actually put it back in the wrong hole, because it should actually be pins one and two, not two and three. So let's just rewire this. And with that done, now when we press run, there we go. Should load in about four seconds, which it has, and there we go. So that's a well-tuned laser as well. You can see how useful it is when customers leave notes where things happened when they've done an attempted repair. And I can tell you now, figuring out where that problem is on the whole board, if there wasn't notes left, would have taken much longer. So that's a thanks to the customer for helping us out there. And I'll just give this now an internal clean, a full quality control check, and get it back to the customer.